Well, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another live stream. I'm very excited today. We are back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, everybody. We are back, officially back. We have not been in this sim for a while. Let me get these sounds up, too. It's pretty stormy here. It's not raining yet, but um, it is a little bit stormy here. You can kind of see the lightning and stuff, and... You'll be able to hear the thunder now. Um, let me just get the sounds up here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, that looks fine. Yep, there's some lightning and there's some thunder. <laughs> yeah, so that this should be fun. Um, also, um, suggested by the title, uh, we will be using a new ATC system um, called PF3. Uh, ATC at its best. Um, hold on, let me turn these sounds down. These sounds sound... Let me... Nah, nah they, they sound fine right where they are. Alright, good. Everything looks good. Okay, um... I got PackX open. I got Pushback Helper open. Whoa, look at that lightning. I got PF3 open. Uh, I could not find a way to show you guys, um, PF3. Um... I wish I could show you, like, I tried to do another, um, you know what I'm gonna do, you know what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna get rid of this, uh, jeez, that lightning, um, let me remove this game capture, I guess, cause it's not really a game, I'm gonna add a display capture, guys, add a display capture, alright, um, there we go, everything looks good there, alright, good, so you now should see my display, you should now see my display. There we go. Um, just saw it on the playback. Awesome. So, this is PF3, guys. It is payware. It is payware. Um, so, bear that in mind. Um, but it is definitely worth the money, I will tell you. Um, have not opened this. I just installed it uh, yesterday. I never got to try it. But um, you guys are going to uh, experience hand-in-hand... Um, my first time doing this, so, um, I assume we click select a flight plan, please set the s source path, uh, by selecting one from the correct folder, oh, okay, well, um, do 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 do, wait, what, what's this? Wait, what did it say? Hold on a minute. Please set set the source path of our MSFS flight plans by selecting one from the correct folder. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what folder this is. Um, maybe I should have. Let me. I'm just looking through folders. Updates. No. Waves. All that's ATIS and stuff. Uh. Do 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 do. Wait, what? Wouldn't you assume it's in here, though? Hold on. Okay, um... Oh, flight planning. Here we go. Never mind. I can't see anything. <laughs> very, very interesting. Um... Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? You know what it is? I have to import that's what it is. I have to um prefile my flight plan. Um not on a network. Um uh do 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 do, do. flight plan downloads, here we go. Um let's do this one, download that. Okay, what, what, whatever that means. Okay, um, so I just downloaded that. Uh, just bear with me, guys, one second. I'm trying to... So I'm going to move this. Copy and go to... Da -da 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 -da. Um, hold on a minute. Let me see. Uh, so it's this PC, local, uh, disk, um... You guys should be able to see this. Um, 
if pardon me if I'm missing any uh, comments or chat um, just trying to get this up and running here um, la di da di da uh, so then it's under local disk obviously and then it'll be under FS add-ons there we go FS add-ons PF3 looks good there and then I guess we'll go to flight plan we'll go to flight planning and I'll just put it in one of these folders I guess <laughs> there we go alright so let's go here do 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 huh what it's not there maybe I have to do it again reopen it oh you know why it might be in the wrong folder it might be in the wrong folder that might be why um okay um that was vi this is very weird um anybody in chat if ever anybody's in chat can anybody uh tell me how to uh huh, get this going here oh i also got pushback helper here as well if you guys are wondering what this is um right here oops why did that disappear okay um okay um this is very oh connect to fs um let me let me actually um hold on hold on guys i'm gonna throw it to the be right back screen um hold on whoa that thunder okay so i'm gonna turn the sounds down um i'm gonna go ahead and mute i'm gonna throw it to the be right back screen i apologize for this i'm gonna look up a tutorial for this um and i will uh uh, and I actually have to use the restroom as well, so I will be back in, I would say five ten minutes. Um, and if not, I'll be back. I'll be I'll be back very soon, guys. So um, just hold on right there, and uh, I'll be with you guys in a couple minutes. All right, guys, see you in a bit.
Alright everybody, I am back, um, so, if you couldn't tell, um, I did change the title, um, couldn't get, uh, PF3 to work, um, you have to download a whole nother thing, and I don't want to waste time, and, you know, uh, but next stream, next MF MSFS stream, uh, I will, uh, stream MS, well, next MSFS stream, I will, make sure to have pf3 ready or hopefully at least so um after 20 minutes 23 almost 24 minutes into the stream um what i'm going to go ahead and do is start our flight um so we got a very short hop uh from uh where we're sitting right now in sao paulo um uh to um rio de janeiro and then afterwards we're going to be taking a longer hop to Brasilia. Um, so um, that will be good. Um, let me get my sounds up here. Let's get those up here. Okay, that looks good there. All right, awesome. So without further ado, let's jump inside the cockpit and get some things programmed ready to go. Um, I do have custom views. Um, I did last time. Um, I am using the stable version of the Flybywire A32NX only because um, the liveries won't work if you don't have delivery like LATAM, what we're using today. Um, it won't work unless you use a stable version because now this is a standalone aircraft. So when you download it, if and when you download it, um, uh, MSFS, you won't get the trashy default <laughs> um airplane now you'll get the fly-by-wire which is awesome that fly by wire is doing this for msfs so that's great but anyways um what i'm gonna go ahead and do um i have my checklist on paper here got it right here guys and um we are just gonna um get ready to go here um so first things first uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is go to our overhead panel get bat one and bat two on hopefully you guys can hear that i think you guys can good everything looks good up there um alrighty um so um first uh, actually on um, oh the frames i think it's just because of the multiple clouds okay so just gotta do a uh, cockpit uh, check park brake is set uh these are off good that's in the norm position uh landing gear is down so that is the end of that all right good Alright, next thing's next, we're going to go up here, um, actually, well, um, we're going to go to our ATC, and uh, actually, you know what I can do, I can just do it from here now, um, so we'll get our ground power, good, ground power is good there, alright, so we're going to get ground power, um, good, uh, we're, we might as well connect our jetway as well, jetway's coming in, good, um, won't get, uh, luggage, uh, uh, fuel, or um, catering yet, uh, but we will soon. We will, we will, we will. Good. All right, so we're going to get our external power on. 
hear the airplane come to life. Good. Let's get these sounds down a little bit more. It's it is a little bit loud. All right. Um, let me turn my sound down on my side too. All right. Good. So that's good there. Um. All right. Next things next. We're gonna go to uh. Um. Do 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 do. do. Okay. Good. So now we're gonna start pack X here. We're gonna start pack X. It's so weird that pack X on is on this side. But hey, whatever. Um. I have two. Two. Um. Things. So, um, we're going to need about, uh, I'm going to say 50 minutes until takeoff. Uh, we are using the A320, or A320neo. Oh, uh, look, look, they actually updated it. A320neo, good. Um, looks good there. Um, how many passengers are we carrying today? We are carrying 163, guys. 163 passengers. Good. 163, we'll get that down to 163. Good. Uh, got to get right at 163. Okay, good. That is looking good there. All right, so we'll click next. Uh, we have Wi-Fi. We have uh, in-flights um, entertainment. Um, we don't. We aren't serving meals. Um, we. I don't think we'll serve snacks, but I'm just gonna keep it checked um, just in case. Um, okay, good. Do we have boarding music? Yes, we do. Ha ha ha. And we must have a safety brief. Uh, what's uh, Latum safety brief? Good. Oh, it's looking good there. All right, so we'll click start. You guys should hear that coming on. Um, hear pe uh, people coming on the airplane now. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. All right. So uh, next things next, we're gonna go to ground handling. We're gonna get our uh, luggage, our uh, catering, and our fuel. We'll get all that. The fuel truck's gonna take a while to get here. Um, but it will eventually come, and then we'll know when it comes, uh, when, uh, the fuel page pops up just in the middle of nowhere. Um, sorry about the drop frames. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting okay frames over here, but for some reason in OBS, OBS is trading a little bit differently. But anyways, uh, we'll continue with our, uh, flows in, uh, the checklist. Alright, so, we're gonna do our fire test for the APU. Alright, that looks good. Fire test is complete. Um, APU master switch is coming on, and we'll wait about three seconds, and then we'll get APU start. Good. And we'll go out here, and I'll let you guys hear that. APU startup. It's very realistic in terms of the startup here. It's absolutely great. <laughs> Let's make sure they... Alright, there we go. APU starting. Good. Good, good, good. Alright. APU starting up. Good. Catering's already done. <laughs> I would assume baggage is already done too. All right, good. You heard enough of the spool. All right, because we got to get our spool, our our um, our Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do is uh, get our external... Oh, actually, we can't yet because APU isn't on and available yet. But it will eventually. That's some nice music in the background. Um, let's, get our, let's get our lights on in here. Um, I mean, just our PF3, PFD and our NDs and our ECAMs up in brightness. And I'll also turn off these for better performance good all right AP should be on and available good all right good we can uh, disconnect auto um, external power we can get rid of power was power already 
No, power is still connected, so we'll get rid of power. Good. Um. Uh, what else do we need to get uh, here? Um. Cockpit lights, we already got that. Um. Those are all on. Good. Um, not not fuel pump. We won't get our fuel pumps on yet. Uh, we will get our AP bleed on. Um, good. Um, we'll get propeed on auto. See, I'm still confused at at this. Is it? Is it? Is it this is pro heat when pro window heat on? Does that mean it's on the auto position, or when I get rid of it, it's just auto? Let me know in the comments or in chat. We'll also get these up to the middle position, I guess. Good. 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 Um, we'll also get our deers. Um, left. Right and center. Good. Um, emergency exit lights coming on. Or, or armed, I should say. We'll get our no smoking signs on and our seatbelt signs on. Good. Um, we'll get our nav logo lights on. We'll get our... Um, yeah, that, that looks good there. Alright, cool. Um, we'll get our crew supply on here as well. Um... Also, I get a strobe, uh, strobes to auto, not on, but to auto. Good. Alright, um, let's go to our McDo and set all the stuff down there. Um, whoa. Do I have a custom? Whoa, the lag. Oh, no. That scared me for a second. Alright, let's just go down here. Um, let's just do it this way, I guess. Okay, select di uh, desired system. We'll go this system, I guess. <laughs> Alright, um, all right, we're going to go to our init page and plug in some numbers. We are uh, not 4025. Um, we are uh, flight number TAM. Alright, so, they want us to load the fuel. Let's load the fuel now, guys. Um, see, see how it just pops up in the middle of nowhere? And if we go outside, the fuel truck's there, I think. Yep, it's right over there. I can't point. It's to the left, guys. Alright, good. So, what we're gonna do here is... We gotta do some conversions here. Um, they're asking for 5726 kilos. Um, so we'll do kilos to pounds. Da, 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 da. Okay, so 12,624 Rounded up, I rounded it up So um, we're going to need One So we can get rid of some fuel here Okay, there we go Let me get my calculator out right next to me here So we got uh, One, two uh, Six Two, three, and uh, subtract that from one two one eight two. Good. Um, forty one. So I add forty one, four forty one to the um center tank just to make things easier, and then we'll get one two six two four right there. Uh, payload today. Uh, what is our payload? Payload is seventeen one. So seventeen point one. Good. Um, so they're asking for thirty seven. Eight on the uh, payload, thirty-seven eight. So, all right. Um. So, oops. Thirty-seven eight. Okay. Um. So they're thirty-seven thousand eight hundred, and we'll subtract that from thirty-six thousand nine forty-four. And 806, uh, so they want 806 more on. I'll put it on rear baggage because the CG is bad. Um, so we'll go 9418 plus 
um, 806, and then we get a uh, number, 9954, there we go, there's a number. Um, I'd like to center that out a little bit more, so we're going to get this to 5, and we'll add, since we took off 4, we'll get this to 13. Good, that looks much better. Alright, good, so we'll X out of that, good, um, fuel is uh, plugging in, good. So, um, let's continue um, our McDo setup. Um, so, let's go to our iris init first, um, and align our ref first. Confirm align, good. Um, we're going to go back here. Um, our alternate today... Pff, isn't that funny? Since these airports are so close together, literally, the alternate is our origin. So our alternate is literally where we're sitting right now. Huh. Wow. Okay, so uh, that is Sierra Bravo Golf uh, Romeo. Plug that in there. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. All right, so we are uh, Tango Alpha. I forget what M is. Tell, let me know in chat because I'm just huh, ready to get this plane in there. Five, three, four, five plug that in there um cost index uh today oops sorry about that guys shoot cost index is five wow low cost index five and cruise out to do is twenty five thousand feet since it's a short flight shoot twenty five thousand so flight level two five zero good we'll plug that in awesome good um so we'll go to our next our uh, on um, other init page and we'll plug in some numbers so since this plane is in kgs um, what we're going to go ahead and do um, is uh, we don't need to do it Shh, stop it msfs jeez um, uh, S zfw 60.9 so 69 <laughs> oh well I'm at 60.9. <laughs> and then our CG is... Let's go back to our fuel page here. CG is 28.7. Seems reasonable. 28.7. 28.7. Decimal 7, I should say. Plug that in. Good. Block fuel is... I would say 5.7. Plug that in. Good. And then wait for all this to turn green here. Yep, there we go. All is green. Some is blue, but that really doesn't matter. Alright, good. Um, now, what we're going to go ahead and do is go to our perf page and plug in some numbers. So, trans altitude. Um, we'll open up uh, Sim Toolkit Pro here for our trans altitude. is 8,000 feet. 8,000. It's not 10,000. 8,000. We'll plug that in. Good. Um, good. We, we're not going to fill any of that stuff there. Um, that's fine there. Um, next phase. What? What's this? Oh. Oh, that's that. Okay. We'll plug in our V speeds as well. Um, 130. 131. And... 135 good um all right we'll go to our flight plan now and just scroll through it we don't have to enter a flight plan because well on behalf of the cabin crew i'd like to welcome you aboard our flight we'll get that set later hold on a second let's check this out let's scroll through it if you have trouble finding a location for any of your carry-on items please use the flight attendant call button over your seat and somebody will assist you after you put your carry-on items in the overhead bin and it is full, make sure you close it as a courtesy huh, to wow, other passengers. that's short. Okay, good. Also be sure that the aisle is closed <coughs> sit down so that way other get that back to our good. Go we'll set our Q&H as you're well. Um, our Q&H here, here is 1015. Please make sure that you are able good, and willing to perform these actions. If you're not, please let a flight attendant know so that way you can be received. 
Feel free to use your cell phones during the rest of the boarding process, but we do ask that laptops, tablets, and any other larger electronic devices are still Let's get this brighter up too. Thank you and welcome aboard. This bright too. Good. All right, my FPS is being a little bit more kind here. Um, good. All right, so um, let's go back to our checklists here. Um, we did our McDo stuff. Good ATC clearance. We would have done that, but huh. um, PF3 is not working at the moment. Flight directors are coming on. Left side and right side um, for a uh, autopilot to work. Um, we'll also get our ILS. Wait, what? Oh, landing system off. Got it. Um, nav mode is set. Good. Um, clock ATC is on standby. TCAS is on standby. Anti or or anti skid um, is on already. So that's good. Um, Adir's are aligned, good. A uh, stairway, uh... Okay, so we gotta wait for, um... PacX to finish up, guys. Uh, let's see. Let me ask how much time we got left. Hey, how's, uh, boarding going back there? We're still boarding. Let us know if you need anything. Ten minutes. Okay. Huh. <laughs> wow. Okay, um, good, uh, everything is looking good there, um, so, oh, we gotta get our cruise altitude set here in the MCP, or whatever you wanna call it, 25,000, good, that's plugged in there, and my goal for this stream is no go-arounds, I mean, we may have to go around, cause, you know, my landings are not too good. Um, in this sim. Huh. Alright, um, we'll set this to Captain Purse, uh, cause in the, um, A350 that we fly in X-Plane, we have to change that. Um, crew supplies on, all that's good there. Alright, good, um, all of the stuff is good up here, uh, subtract the fuel pumps, cause we won't turn them on until we're ready to go. Um, but man, I have not been in this airplane in so long. I did some practice landings, not practice flights. I did some practice landings. Um, and my landings are not good. We'll see if I can butter it. Huh. We'll see how PacX treats us. Huh. And Sim Toolkit Pro as well. Um, shoot. Look at this airplane. And the thunder behind too. Actually, let me check the... Um, let me check the weather, um, in terms of, like, anti-ice and stuff, if we need anti-ice. Okay, so, right now, in Gua Guadalupe's, uh, where this airport is, it's 73 right now, so no anti-ice needed. Um, it is, <laughs> it is scheduled to thunderstorm at around 2, um, their time, so it'll be in about 15 minutes, uh, so... We're probably not going to get in the air by then, but whatever. Um, all right, good. Uh, so, and then Rio de Janeiro, um, it's mo partly cloudy right now, so it's beautiful there. It's 82. Um, they're also scheduled to get some thunderstorms, but only 30% chance. Um, so that's fine. Um, Brasilia, it's raining right now. <laughs> it's supposed to be cloudy when we get there. We may experience a sunset as well, which will be nice. Um, but yeah, uh, this should be these should be nice flights, um, at least above the air. Um, hopefully, we reach the top of the clouds. Um, you know, on this flight, because we're only going to twenty five thousand today, um, at least for this flight coming up. So, yeah, um, lowly populated 
uh, chat, stream, whatever you want to call it, but that's okay. I understand people have lots to do. Today is Sunday. I know some people have church and stuff, and that's understandable. I'm just scrolling through my custom views. Look at those wing views. Absolutely beautiful. Wait, what, what's this wing view? Huh. Just inside the jetway. Legend Gaming said he would join the stream, but it is pretty late over there, I think. much time left on pack X I can't wait huh let's let's expedite the boarding process hey, can we finish our boarding process a little faster back there two minutes take it off that's we'll fine see what we can do. no promises four minutes left we can't expedite it anymore huh. all right guys um Oh, you know what What else we should get on here? Um, we should get our weather system on. Um, good. That's some weather, jeez. Huh. Jeez, man. Look at all that weather. That red, that's all some serious stuff. <laughs> it says we're not in any of the... I guess, I guess we aren't, really. Because it's not raining currently right now, so. Man, I'm ready to. Huh, I'm ready to get on the road here. Got about uh, three minutes left. So we get going. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to um, reach top of descent. We have one, two, three waypoints until we reach top of descent. Or no, no, we have top of climb. And then we have uh, t three waypoints, which are very close together. And then we have top of descent. <laughs> so we'll be descending relatively quickly. Um... So since we'll be at two five thousand, or yeah, yeah, two five thousand. Um, what's the elevation like in uh, in um twenty eight feet? Okay, well. Okay, um, we should be on the road, yep, one minute left, so we'll go ahead and get our, um, wait, what, hello, we'll get our, uh, beacon light on, and we'll get our fuel pumps on, good, good, we are ready to go, guys, um, let me get my charts out, too, um, yes, I have it on paper, don't judge me. Um, <laughs> no, I don't think you guys would judge me. Alright, so, um, basically, uh, what we're going to do is take Kilo out, and then we're going to take Alpha all the way down to Golf, and then we're going to come on Golf, and then, uh, get on the runway, and we'll be on our way. It's very short taxi, I would assume. Alright, good. They're ready to go. 
So, disconnect jetway, we'll get our, uh, tug. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard flight 5345, with service to Rio de Janeiro. Our flight time Rio de Janeiro, I love how she said that. <laughs> now that the cabin door is closed, please make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your large devices are now shut down. Oh, there was the some lightning please right in front of us. And make sure that all tray tables and seat backs are in the full upright and locked position for departure. Cabin crew, prepare cabin for departure. We'll arm auto throttle as well. Um, okay, uh... So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, um, uh, tail to the, that side. I'm just gonna say that, tail to the, that side. Um, <laughs> alright guys. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is release parking brake. We'll get these, that to start. Um, we'll lock our door here. And start coming back here. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the screen for an important safety demonstration. Thank you for flying with us. Estimados pasajeros, es un placer tenerlos a bordo de la TAM. Por su seguridad y confort, yes, solicitamos poner atención a las instrucciones de seguridad de este avión. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to have you on board. La okay, so we're going to get on this. Which line do they want us on? I'll assume this line, right? Oops, this line. So start making our right turn. Bajo el asiento de adelante. Stow your carry-on baggage in the overhead compartment or underneath. We'll straighten her out a little bit. That should be fine. Alright, let's get engine number two on. Shoot. We'll stop our pushback. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, let's get our park brake on here. Get rid of our tug. There's engine number two spooling. Passengers must follow all instructions given by crew members, signs and lights. Está prohibido fumar a bordo, inclusive cigarrillos electrónicos. Manipular los detectores de humo en los baños está prohibido por ley. Smoking on board is forbidden. This also includes electronic cigarettes. Tampering with smoke detectors in lavatories is prohibited by law. There's engine number two. electrónicos, incluyendo teléfonos celulares, pueden ser usados durante todo el vuelo, siempre que estén en modo avión. Electronic devices, including cell phones, may be used throughout the flight in airplane mode only. There's some nice music in the background right there. Huh. Alright, so engine number two is stable. Uh, we're gonna get engine number one on. And that lightning. Smaller ones such as cell phones and tablets need to be held or stowed in the seat pocket in front of you. Si se le cae un dispositivo en el asiento, no intente sacarlo y avise inmediatamente a la tripulación. If a device falls into the crack of the seat, do not try and remove it, but immediately call a crew member. En preparación para el despegue, asegure su mesa, ponga su respaldo en posición vertical y guarde la pantalla plegable si su asiento la tiene. For takeoff, secure your tray table, put your seat back in its upright position, and tuck the video screen into its compartment if your seat has one. Okay. Engine number one. There we go. Still spooling, but there we go. Este avión tiene ocho salidas de emergencia con toboganes que pueden ser usados en una evacuación. This aircraft has eight emergency exits equipped with evacuation slides. Los toboganes de las puertas pueden ser utilizados como balsa. The evacuation slides at the doors also, can get this be used as rafts. There we go. Alright, there's engine number one. So, there we uh, go. We can go ahead and get our APU. Or actually, well, we can get our this to norm. Get our APU bleed off. Um, 
personal belongings or arm or ground spoilers. Um, flaps. So long runway, so do flaps one. Just slaps one, good. A life vest can be found underneath your seat or below the center um, of the Remove it from the back. I set our auto brake to max. Fasten the belt at the front and adjust the Good, and we will uh, get our APU master switch off. Therefore, the, the APU will turn off. We'll do our flight controls. Um, make sure all of them work. A light will turn on upon contact with the water. So, we're gonna go left right back forward good uh rudder left and rudder right good all that's looking good okay we'll, we will also get our we'll get all our all of our lights on here we'll get our taxi lights on we'll get our runway turn offs on low visibility um all right all that looks good up there um Do, 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 do. Okay, we're ready to taxi, guys. Let's get our park brake off. And let's. Thank you for your attention and enjoy your flight with Latam. That was just in time, just as we started moving. The safety brief ended. Nice. All right, so uh, we are right now on Kilo. This is Kilo right here. Man, this lightning, it's real. Alright, so what we're going to go ahead and do is do our takeoff config test. All that's normal. We'll wait to um, let cabin, the cabin know, because um, we're not at the runway yet. Alright, so the runways are right ahead of us, um, but we have to make a right turn here on, what is this, uh, Alpha. Oh shoot, we're shifting off. As I'm shifting my myself on my seat <laughs> all right so this is uh actually you know what we're gonna go ahead and uh not take this turn we're gonna take our next turn i think that we'll take bravo instead of alpha this is bravo right here jeez why does this plane not like to turn there we go all right, good. We're going to be doing a ta toga takeoff today, guys. Toga takeoff. I think I only do toga, toga takeoffs in this airplane. You could really do toga t takeoffs in any plane, because the only reason why they have flex takeoffs is because, you know, it hurts the engines more. Uh, if you do togas, you know you're doing full throttle, but with flex you're doing a set amount of power, enough to get you in the air. Alright. So this is going to be a short flight, and I don't know how long it is from um, Rio de Janeiro to Brasilia, but uh, it's going to be definitely longer. So I think it's below two hours. I'm not sure, but um, I'm hoping it'll be uh, close to, you know, two hours. We'll, we'll see, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with anything. Alright, let's slow down here. We're going a bit fast. Actually, going a lot fast. Alright, um, this is our turn here uh, to get onto our runway. 
So we'll go ahead and, uh, whoa, what happened there? We'll go ahead and cut the throttles, and we will start making our stop here at our, the hold short point. And we'll do a couple of things before we get in the air. We'll go ahead and signal seats for takeoff, please. Take please. Huh. Alright, park brake's coming on. Alright, so uh, we got a couple of things to do here before we get in the air. Um, Weather radar is on. Uh, uh, brake temp check. We don't worry about that. Um, uh, ATC. Uh, we'll get that to ta slash ra. T A R A. Um, we'll get our landing lights on. Oh shoot! I don't want that. Hello. Okay. We'll get landing lights on. We'll get our takeoff lights on. We'll get our wing lights on. Good. Um, am I missing anything here? Okay. Not missing anything. Good. All right. Let's get in the air, guys. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Is there a displaced threshold here? Yes, there is. Very little one, though. Alright. Cabin's been advised. Let's line up here and go toga. Or throttle's 40 first, obviously. Throttle's 40. We've got our chrono set here. Chrono set. Good. And let's go toga. Toga. Takeoff power set. SRS runway nav. Auto thrust is blue. Let's do it, guys. And a V1. Rotate. Oh my gosh. That was a beautiful takeoff. Alright, there we go. Positive rate. Gears coming up. Make sure to follow these flight directors. We're going straight out, like literally we're just going straight I mean, there really isn't a point to be hand flying this, but... Oh jeez, let's hope this airplane doesn't get struck by lightning. <laughs> Alright, so at 8,000 we'll go standard barrel. All right, let's get levers to climb. There's lo uh, throttles to climb. Good. So now our speed should be taken care of. Man, look at that scenery. It's not Orbex, but look at that scenery. Beautiful. Alright, let's go flaps, uh, actually, we gotta wait until 220, until we can go flaps clean. We'll actually go autopilot, we'll set autopilot here. Alright, 220, flaps clean. Good, now we're ascending. Alright, anti, so we won't need. Good. Good, we'll go ahead and get our runway turnoffs off and our tack, uh, takeoff, our nose lights off and our wing lights off. Good. 
Man, we're going through the soup. Yeah, good. It's realistic now. They fixed the icing problem. Whoa, what is Nav doing? Wait, what? Hello? I have to take control of the airplane again. Get back on track here. Jeez, why was the airplane doing that? That was weird. We're still ascending. Let's try and throw autopilot back on. Okay, now it's following the flight directors. Good. Standard Barrow. Uh, let's go Standard Barrow now since we're through 8,000. Oh my goodness. You can't see much, but look at that. Just beautiful. Look, we're just through red. <laughs> it's the weather's that bad. Oh, I see a little bit of breakout. We may have some hope. <laughs> Man. So we are climbing nicely. Alright, we're through 10,000. Landing lights are coming off. And we'll go ahead and turn our seatbelt signs off. Gentlemen, we are now passing through 10,000 feet. Disarm these. Oh, the breakout. Yes, the breakout. I see it coming. Yes, sir. Oh, my gosh. We need a wing view for this one. Or an engine and wing view for this. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It's a little bit grainy, but that's okay. But once we get more above... Oh my gosh, you will... Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm in love with this. What a beautiful breakout that was. Ha 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 ha. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. We're climbing nicely, guys. Oh my gosh, this makes my day feel so much better. Ah, uh, we're above the clouds. We're above the gloominess. We are in the sun now. All right. Um. Wow, that that's beautiful. This is just beautiful. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, uh, controller down here. Um, let me check out uh, something in Sim Toolkit Pro here. So, right now, am I still seeing lightning? What? We are. Well, what the. I hate when Sim Toolkit Pro does this. It freezes on me sometimes. It's just terrible. Whatever. Alright, um, so we are on our way, um, to top of the climb. Good. And we will start descending at Asuro. Um,. Uh, which is very close. Good. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright, good. Um, oh, look at that. Look at those clouds. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is throw on some music here. Um, let me just turn my sounds down here. Um, not my voice, obviously, but sounds. We'll get those down there. That's good. 
Yep, I'm still seeing thunder and lightning, or I'm just still seeing lightning. Oh, I'm just looking at these clouds. They're, they just look absolutely beautiful. All right, there's some music. Wow. This music's by Ixen, you gotta check him out. Like, he's great, he's a great artist. In terms of background music and stuff, it's great. Um, but yeah, um... Look at those views. I mean, you can't see the scenery, but hey, you can see these beautiful, puffy clouds. Just beautiful. Alright, so out of Suro, um, we're gonna, uh, descend to 135. Hold on, let me try and get the right wing view. Shoot, there we go. Oh, you can see some scenery down there. Look at that. All right, let's pull up our chart for um, um, Rio de Janeiro. So we're going to be landing runway 10. Um, it's going to be a longer taxi. Um, man, this music's getting me up dancing. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, look, it is clearing up. That's good that's clearing up, so we may not land in terrible weather. Okay, so, um, in terms of taxiing, uh, so we're going to be landing runway 10. There is no displaced threshold, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe there is, we'll see. Um, but we'll probably exit at Charlie Charlie, come on to November, uh, take November all the way down. They're saying, freaking, well, if, if you want any, um, they're saying this flight is too short for in-flight service. <laughs> Whatever. My passengers are satisfied, 95%, that's good. Alright, so it's going to be a little bit of a longer taxi, but that's okay. That is okay. Let's double check our weather again. Yep, in Rio de Janeiro, it's still... Oh, no, now it's mostly cloudy. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> They're definitely getting a thunderstorm soon, but... Let's try and land before that. <laughs> Those clouds are just beautiful. And that wing flex too. Great. Captain Matt, welcome to the stream. You're a little bit late, but that is okay. That's okay. I, you're back. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back. Appreciate you. Um, I started the stream a little earlier than you had expected. Um, but it's just due to my schedule, you know. So, um, but welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So how are you doing? How's David doing? Hope he's doing well.
This is an absolutely beautiful view. Man, oh man. Alright, so we, yeah, we're really close to the top of descent. <laughs> it's very, um, it's very, um... Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that it to be so quick, because... But we will, we will definitely get ready here. Um, let's go to our, uh, perf page. Go to descent here. Um, do, 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 do. Is this where you put your, um, Q&H? Send some approach stuff, though. Alright, so, um, let me, uh, get some numbers up here from Sim Toolkit Pro. Uh, Sim Toolkit Pro acting up again. Okay, um, weather. Q and H is... 10, 10, so, 1, 0. 1, 0 on the Q and H. Let me, oops. All right, let's, uh, okay, so, um, temperature there is, geez, the vis visibility is great, so that's good. There's few clouds there right now, broken at 10,000 feet, uh, temperature is 28, um, that's in Celsius, so it's hot there. So plug that in. Uh, winds. Uh, do, 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 do. 130 at 9. So we'll be landing in nice butter condition. 130 at 9. Plug that in. Good. Trans altitude is 7,000. Oh, shoot. We will plug that in there. Good. Um... Approach speed, um, final approach speed is 133. Um, I'm going to do uh, minimums at uh, 200. Hold on, do I put it in decision height? No, I don't put it in decision. Ah, shoot. I put it in MDA. There we go. That looks better. I think. Well, once we start a descent, we'll find out. Um, is this one leg or final? Uh, this is is this w leg one or final? This is leg one, Matt. This is leg one. We have one more leg after this. By request of you. All right. All right. Let's start a descent, guys. We gotta start a descent already. So they're asking for one. Three five. Jeez, hold on. All right, starting our ascent, peoples. Um, am I right about one three five? Yeah, they're asking for one three five. Good. Um, we'll plug that in. Let's start our ascent, guys. Those clouds, look at those. Oh my goodness. We're descending way too quickly, hold on. Let's do 1,500 feet per minute. That is way too fast. Matter of fact, that might have been unsafe. 
Once this song ends, I'm gonna go ahead and pause our music. That's in about two minutes, so. Literally, we've only been in the air for almost 19 minutes and we're already starting our descent. <laughs> What do I what do they want on the speed? Um they want five eight, so let's go um selected speed. No, they won't even let us do that. No, let's just do manage speed. I know this airplane's smart, so <clears throat> Okay. Well, Q and H ten ten set on our backup, just in case. There we go. Wow. Oh yeah, it is. It is partly cloudy, I would say, or mostly cloudy. I can see it's pr clearer than before. Alright, there we go. Minimums. There we go. Good. Well, arm our landing system. We'll go ahead and arm that. What's heading at, um, runway 10? Do they seriously not show us? What? They don't show us heading. That's messed up. <laughs> Stupid ad. We gotta let it finish first. Okay, there we go. Let's end that. Um, good. Music is stop. We'll get our sounds up again. There we go. Right, we gotta get our vertical speed down a little bit more because we're close. So did anything happen prior to my arrival? Um, no, not really. Unless, uh, other than um, I was gonna do a review of PF3 and ATC system, but it didn't work. So I'm gonna have to do that next MSFS stream. But other than that, we were doing fine. But how are you, Captain Matt? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, you know, just hanging around, enjoying my Sunday. Look at that terrain up ahead. Better range down there. Get a little bit more on the vertical speed, 2,500, I guess. Alright, there we go, that looks... Look at that. You're good, and I had church, so yeah, I was late. No, no problem, no problem. No problem. You are A-OK. -okay. Alright, we're making that turn, guys, so that means we're starting, um, so they want us at, uh, 9-7, flight level 9-7, let's get that set here, flight level 9-7, for the next waypoint, uh, what do you think about delivery, no, it's beautiful, look at this, look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely beautiful.
Okay, um... Oh yeah, I can't do that yet, but... Um, we're approaching 10,000, so... We'll turn on our head while we're going through the soup, too. Going through the soup. Oh, look, we can already see the scenery. That's beautiful. Look at that. Alright, so this is going to be more beautiful than our departure. <laughs> Alright, let's get our vertical speed. I, I know that's a little bit unsafe, 3,000 feet per minute, but we have to kind of rush here because we don't want to be doing a go around. I mean, go arounds don't hurt, but. Alright, we're making our final turn already. Oh, yeah, we may have to go around, guys. We may have to go around. Let's get our, um. Uh, altitude down to, uh, wait, what? Six zero. Yeah, let's get our seatbelt signs on and landing lights coming on. Let's get our, uh, altitude, whoa. We'll activate approach phase. We have begun our final descent into Rio de Janeiro. Flight attendants will be passing through the cabin to collect any trash one final time. Please ensure that you are in the full upright position. Please also store any carry-on items either in the seatback pocket or under the seat in front of you. Please complete all Wi-Fi related tasks and show any larger electronics. Alright, I see the airport right up there. Um, you guys can't, probably can't see it, but I see it. But I think I think we'll be able to make it guys. I really think we will. Okay, um Let's go heading mode. There we go. That's it's fine there. Good. Um, we are just about to go through five th uh, seven thousand, so we'll go um, selected barrow. There we go. Will our localizer capture? That's the question. <laughs> Will our localizer capture? Okay. Um, let's start gradually descending. Let's get to five thousand. get some speed brakes out because so we do need help on the speed <laughs> max speed brakes all right good guys okay all right controllers in hand Controller is in hand. And we'll uh, continue our descent to 4,000. Ah, uh, there's the runway. Looking good. Let's try and get back on track here. Um, we are a little bit off track. Um, let's get back to regular heading 9.5. There we go. Good. Everything's looking good there. Man, our localizer is not capturing. Let's get our speed brakes out, and we'll arm them, actually. Armed. Good, and we'll go flaps. One. Get our altitude down to 3,000 now. All right, um, let's go flaps two. Yeah, look at that. It's nice. Wait, what? Why is our altitude? 
Come on now. I have to do v vertical speed now. Stupid thing. Okay. We are not fully configured yet, but we'll go ahead and get our gear. Mm, should we get our gear down? Yeah, I think we should get our gear down. Our gear's coming down. Good. We gotta get way on track here. We are kind of off track on the runway. Good. We'll get all of our lights on. Like Runway turnoffs we won't need. Um, we'll get our wing lights on and our takeoff lights on. And I guess we'll call for prepare for landing. There we go. We'll get our brakes to low. Good. We'll get our altitude down to 2,000. Good. Alrighty, guys. I'm ready for this landing. Well, not quite yet, but we'll go flaps three. We'll go flaps full. Look at that scenery down there. That's Rio de Janeiro. Right, so our landing system is broken. <laughs> So there we go, we're back on track here. Let's get our altitude down to 1,000. Good, and then when, when we reach 1,000, um, I'll take control of the airplane. Hello, why are you descending so fast? Jeez, man. Let's calm down. There we go. Alright. Here we go. So all of our lights are on. Good. Um, brakes, uh, auto brakes are set. Gear is down. Uh, auto th um, uh, speed brakes are armed, or spoilers are armed, and we got flaps full. Good. I think I'm ready for this landing, people. All right, let's do this. LATAM was founded by uh, LASA, Postal Air uh, Society of uh, An Andes, uh, in, in 1929. And in 1932, it was renamed to LAN Chile, National Airline of Chile. In 2005, it became LAN, Latin American Network, and then Part 1. Okay, I'll read Part 2 um, in just a bit, but I am going to go ahead and take control of this airplane. Because I am ready to get this airplane on the ground. My airplane my airplane let's do this guys yes I heard you the first time <laughs> let's try and butter this one out Beautiful, beautiful scenery. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me pause this for a minute. I almost forgot to do the replay. Oh my goodness, thanks. I almost uh, forgot. Holy, holy crap. Okay, let's open that up. I, I just paused the sim just so I can get this up here. Oh, thank goodness. I remembered. Okay, um, is it going to open? All right, there we go. It's open. Good, so we'll resume, and we'll go ahead and... Uh, start recording. Good. Oh, that's looking good. Everything's looking good. Checked. Man, I feel like this is going to be a nice landing. We are right head on. Oh, look at that. Look at this nice approach. Look, we're going right over a river. <laughs> nice. Nice one. Checked. What a freight too. Hundred above. Continue.
landing. These were actually a little bit low. Come on, don't fail me now. Oh, this was... Come on, get down. Get her down. Alright, that was nice. Reversers? Reversers are out. 80 knots. 70 knots. Stow them. Everybody, welcome to Rio de Janeiro. Welcome, 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 guys. Alright, we'll go over to manual braking. We'll take the next right turn. Oh my goodness, that was a beautiful landing. Kind of got off track a little bit there. But Rio de Janeiro. The local time is 2.37 p.m. And it's currently about 28 degrees Celsius. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until the aircraft has that. come to a complete stop. And All right, we'll take this. Uh, this is a Charlie Charlie like I thought we would be exiting or vacating at. If this is your final destination, we thank you for flying with us. If you're making a connection, we encourage you to check your Let's start to uh, slowing down here. Okay, good. Um, uh, part two, LAN was renamed LATAM when LAN and TAM uh, merged. Well, hence the name. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Alright, landing lights coming off. Uh, wing lights coming off. Nose lights coming to taxi. We'll keep our strobes to auto. Or, well, they'll notice. Um, because we're going to be crossing another runway, it looks like. No, 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 no. This is just the whole short point. My bad. We're going to make this right turn up here, though. We'll go ahead and get our APU ready. Alright, APU. Just coming on there. Make this right turn on to this looks like a November. It is November actually. Looking at the taxi signs. Guys, welcome to Rio de Janeiro. Very short flight uh, from um, Sao Paulo. That was a nice flight. We'll go ahead and stop our clock as well. Our chrono. We were in the air for 36 minutes. Oh, yeah. Basically 36 minutes. Um, and we arrived 13 minutes early. For Pack X. It says expected arrival of 13 minutes and 41 seconds. So we were early. So that's good. Also, guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure to smack that thumbs up button. Let's try and get this uh, video or uh, live stream to five likes. Doesn't seem like much, but it would definitely mean the world. All right, so we're gonna take this all the way down, all the way. Um, also, slow down a little bit too. Um, so you just cut on the power so we don't speed up. Alright, good. APU is on and available, so that's good. Oh, yeah, we gotta clean up our flaps and stuff. Um, spoilers disarmed. Flaps clean. Or cleaning up, I should say. There we go. There we go. Flaps clean. Awesome. Yep, 
Yep, we're on November right now. That's uh, Mike, um, right there. M for Mike. Um, but we are currently on November. We're gonna take November out to Kilo. And we're gonna, oops, whoa. And then we're gonna make our turns onto uh, Kilo and then find our way to our let's let's ask for eight let's ask for ground um galeo wait what galeo what uh we're looking for one two one point six so there we go taxi to gates good a45 that's where we need to be so we'll go to a f a45 that is somewhere in terminal two that's where we should be going so all right there's our Um, there's our, uh, there's the terminals coming up, or the building. Slow down, too. You gotta go? Alright, see, you. uh, at least I got to see you. So, see you next stream. Alright, Matt, thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I will see you, uh, next stream. We'll try and do one tomorrow, but if not, whoa, that slope, jeez. Um, but if not, I will see you next stream. Um, yeah, see, see you later, man. Okay. Um, so what is this here? Um, this is no, no, this is Lima one. We don't want to take that turn. Whoa, what is wrong with the? Jeez, these taxiways are crazy in the world oh man okay um good so APU is on and available I guess we can get our AP bleed on um get that all set for engine shutdown Alright, we'll make this turn now. Now we're on Kilo. November just ended, now we're on Kilo. Wow. You know, this is one of the air this is one of the airports that was handmade um for the sim. So Man, look at that airport. Beautiful. It's also pretty nice here, too. Alright, so we are on, uh, on Kilo now. Um, we're going to take it all, not all the way down, but we'll take it to Lima 3. Um, make a left onto Lima 3 and then find our... Uh, oh, before I actually go, what is your next stream about? Um, let me. Uh, I'm. I. Ha I still have to think about that. Um, on. It's if it's on t if it's gonna be tomorrow Monday. Um, I think I will do a sh uh something flight sim, maybe a short flight here. Um, or um. Maybe could be back and explain for a nice little after dark uh, stream, or, or, um, I could uh, just wait it out until Saturday, um, next Saturday, and do a longer stream. Um, but I, I definitely want to do another stream tomorrow, so I think I'll do a little after dark and explain. Does that sound good to you? Maybe we'll do, uh, we'll explore a little bit in. Um, the UK. How about that? Since we're we left we left our uh, in London. All right. So this is Lima three here. How's that sound, Matt? Does that sound any good to you? Here's Lima three here.
let's make this turn here so we can see where we're going. Oh, there's a Latam right there. Hold on, let me actually... Yes, um, tomorrow, e.g., uh, London to Dublin is good for tomorrow. Alright, I'll do that. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Alright, man, I'll see you tomorrow, man. I'll definitely see you tomorrow. Um, hold on, before I mess up where I'm going in terms of taxi, I want to see where they want us. I know A41... A45 is where they want us, so I guess we'll... I, it's definitely over here, because I know the A's are here, so let's just go there. Jeez, I can still hear thunder. Wow. Alright, let's go... Alright. And believe it or not, I haven't had lunch yet, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is, um, at the, um, once we, I'm going to take a little break, um, well, I'm going to eat a short lunch, I don't want to keep you guys waiting, but, um, yep, see you, man, see you, Captain Matt, catch you, and then catch you tomorrow, alright, um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to try and, uh, um, eat my or lunch as best I can, um, or as fast as I can, and then, uh, we'll go from there. Just hope to God that we are in the right place right now. They said gate A45. Slow down. Is it right there? To be honest, I'll just park right next to that Latam A320. Man, we're off the center line, or the yellow line here, but that's okay. Alright, um, good. We are not going to turn off the engines, because... This replay system requires us to turn, um, keep our engines on. We'll go ahead and park right here. Looks fun. Oh yes, this is this is actually exactly where they wanted us, because there's a marshal there. Let's zoom in here so we can see what the marshal there is telling us to do. Jeez, look at the baggage. <laughs> Hello. Let's move slowly. Hold on. Oh, she got us parking good. Alright. Stop. There we go. Awesome. We are here, guys. Let's get our parking brake on. Engines are not coming off. Um, good. Uh, everything's looking good there. Um, we will do a replay, and then we'll do the review, and then, you know, afterwards, you know, we'll do a shutdown, you know, and then. But for the next leg, which will be our last leg, um, I'm gonna, you know, uh, do a, um, what's it called? I'm just going to do the replay. I'm not going to do a shutdown. So let's go ahead and stop our replay. Stop our recording, I should say. Dang, we took a deep, steep right there. Okay, um, let's uh, go ahead and click uh, replay it. Let's replay it. Good. Let it just load for a second. 
Oh, the don't sink. Please stop. Why? Okay, all the lights are on. All the lights are good. Come on, man. Let's just let the scenery load in here. Stupid don't sink. Please don't tell me we're gonna have to hear that the whole time. I didn't think the scenery's loaded in. Let's resume replay. Actually, before I, um... Let's pause that again. Let's see what Pack, us, Pack X gave us. Let's end... It's not yet complete. Ending it will now cancel it. Oh, all progress. Okay. I don't want to end the flight yet. Okay, hold on. We'll end the flight later, but... Our feet per minute will... Uh, no, actually, we can go to Sim Toolkit Pro. What's Sim Toolkit Pro giving us? Ooh, 148 on feet per minute. Ooh, that was a butter. Ooh, baby, that was a butter. Don't sink. I can't, I don't care. I'm not sinking. <laughs> Jeez, man. That approach. Getting back on track right there. Flare. Oh no, that was a bit hard. Versers are coming out. Wow. Let's pause that again. Um, play it a little bit. I'll change the wing view here. Oh no, that's going to be a nice one right there. Alright, um... Resume that. Ah, oh, the don't sinks. I hate it. There's the other runway on our right. We see the airport off to our left, or off to our right. And then we land. There's the flare. And we came down a bit hard. It felt very soft when I landed, like, like when I, when I, when I, when I, like I didn't feel it personally, but like, you know, when I, when I, you know, felt the, you know, contact with the ground, it, it felt, it felt soft. I, it, it just did. I don't know why, but. Um, let's go ahead and do a... Ooh, this is going to be a nice one. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Alright, let me... Do something here. Um, let's go to camera. Uh, we are on showcase. Let's go to... Um, we're not going to have follow mode on. We'll get speed all the way up. Did we hit? My question is, did we hit it right on the thousand footers? That's my question. That is my question. All right, let's uh, get this uh, replay started up again. Don't sink. Don't sink. Oh, the don't sinks. Don't sink. I don't hate sink. it, man. Don't sink. 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 
Don't sink. Retard. Don't sink. Don't sink. Oh, did we Don't hit sink. it? No, not the thousand footers. Try it. Oh, right on the thousand five hundreds. Oh, baby. Oh my goodness. Man, oh man. Oops, wrong. Let's do, oh, let's do this. Ooh, wait, what? What's that? Wait, what? Hello? Let's do this. Um, let's, this will be the last replay and then we'll do a full shutdown. I wouldn't say a full, but... Okay, fine. Oh, the don't sinks. I was just about to say no don't sinks, but... <laughs> I struck one of those trees in real life. Yeah, see how see how like when you're in the cockpit it feels soft. Alright, well, that's good. Um we are gonna go ahead and pause replay and take it all the way back to here. Oh, come on, there has to be a stupid airplane right here. Come on, man. Hold on. Stupid. Well, I guess we're going to have to do it this way, then. With an airplane in the way. Um... Okay, um, yeah, I can't even see anything, so I guess we're just gonna leave it like this, um, <laughs> jeez, man. Oh, that thunder, too. Alright, um, so, there we have it, um, there's the, there's that, um, I'm gonna throw it to the Be Right Back screen, guys. And I will be back in, I would say, around 5, or definitely not 5, like 10, 15, 20 minutes I'll be back. Um, and uh, I'll, we'll get ready for next flight. Um, let me throw it back to the Be Right Back screen, and I will see you guys in about 15 minutes.
All right, guys, I am back. Let me get my uh, desktop uh, audio back up here. Let's get that back up. There we go. Looks good. Um, awesome. So uh, I forgot to um, show you guys what Pack X gave me. Um, they gave me um, a two twenty nine, two twenty nine feet per minute, which is more reasonable. Um, to be very honest with you um but that's good we'll save that um and then we will um go to sim toolkit pro um and um set up because you guys are just seeing the speed and all that stuff but let me change this up here um go to our dashboard go to ifr flight planning and then do that um good so this flight is uh, about an hour and a half flight so that's air time so we'll be in the air for longer so should be a nice one um, we'll go ahead and click fly now and then you guys should be able to see uh, it change I believe I hope yeah it should have changed yep there we go seeing in the uh, um, playback okay good so we'll X out or minimize out of that real quick um, we will open up pushback helper here. Pushback helper. There we go. We'll open that. Good. Everything looks good there. All right. Good. Wait. Why did I close out of that? Hello. Okay. Good. I'm. We're still here in thunder for some reason. That's very weird. All right. Well, that is that. Um. But what we will do first is get uh connected to our ground power. Get connect. Get our jetway connected as well. And you'll see our jetway connecting right there. There it comes. And then our ground power is coming. Good. Alright, cool. Alright, so first things first, we're going to go to our overhead panel. Um, and get our both batteries on. And we'll get our external power connected. Good. Oh, that looks good. Let me actually turn down the sounds a teeny bit. There we go. So that's a bit loud. Okay. Good. We will go ahead um, now. Uh, get PackX ready here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Actually, before we start PackX, uh, let's get some lights on in here. Or brightness up, I should say. Um, Ecams. There we go, we'll get these brighter. Get this brighter. Good, um, we'll get these off, because just for better performance, good. Um, Alright, now let's start a pack X here. <laughs> okay, that is not pack X, this is pack, oops. Hold on. I'm opening up some things that I shouldn't be opening. Um, there's PackX. Cool. So we'll go ahead and start flight. Uh, we are good there, so we'll need about 50 minutes till takeoff. We are in the A320neo. Good. Um, how many passengers do we got today on this flight? We currently have 149s. Not a full flight, excuse me. Um, but, there we go, 149, good. Uh, we have those uh, custom safety briefs. We do have one. Um, there we go. We won't be serving meals. Um, we will be serving snacks and drinks, though. We'll go ahead and start that. Good. There we go. We'll go ahead and get our um, baggage our luggage, um, catering, and, uh, fuel. So, it'll be coming over. Good. They're coming over now. Alright. Good. 
We'll go up here and we'll do our APU fire test. Oops, that's not what I wanted. There, that's good. Um, we'll get our APU master switch on. Um, we will actually wait for the flap open to appear and then we can do our start switch. Turn that on. Should be in just a couple of seconds here. There we go. There's flap open and we'll get our APU start switch on. Good. Um, we can get rid of external power and we'll oh wait 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 we have to keep that on we have to keep that on my bad sorry about that huh wow okay um we'll just continue our flows down um let's get our uh irs uh left side right side and center good we'll go ahead and get our crew supply on as well good while our APU is spooling, um, we can go ahead and go to our McDo and get some stuff plugged in. So go ahead and go to our IRS init, um, align on ref. Good. We'll click return. And um, our alternate today, what's our alternate today? Um, CBCF. So Sierra. Bravo, Charlie, Foxtrot is our alternate. Uh, our flight number is the same as before. It is uh, um, Tango Alpha Mike uh, 5345. Good, we'll plug that in. Good. Um, cost index, uh, shoot. Cost index today is 34. And our cruise altitude and flight level is 360. Flight level 360. We'll plug that in. Good. All right. We'll go to our next init page. Good. Um, we got to wait for our fuel um, to come on, but for our fuel truck to come, which it is. There's the fuel truck right there. Just in time. Perfect. Here he comes. Good. We'll actually uh, get our Q and H stuff. Um, get our numbers for the airplane. Um, let me see here. All right. Um, so Q and H uh, is currently. If uh, Sim Toolkit Pro will work, <laughs> all right, there we go. Uh, ten ten, uh, same as before. So we'll do it here. Good, and then we'll change this. Plug that in. Good. fuel truck is here so the, that thing should pop up any second now just gotta wait for it first <laughs> hopefully it will be here any minute now um oh they, there it is okay so um, today, uh, we are expecting how much fuel? Uh, 86, or 8,627 kilos. We gotta do some conversions. KGs to pounds. Oops. KGs to pounds. Good. Um, so we want 19,000, um, 19,019, um, on the fuel. So we can get rid of some. There we go. That should be good. Let me get my calculator out here. All right. So we are uh, looking for a 190919, and then we'll subtract 18903, and then we get 116. So I'll have 116 to the center, just to make stuff easier. 
There we go, that should be fine there. There's our number right there. And payload today. We are looking for a payload of... 15.7. Uh, 15.7. Uh, so that's 34,600. On the payload. Alright, there we go. 34,600, and we'll subtract, uh, 33668. 33668. Good. So we'll add 932 to the rear baggage. Um, 8317. That's 9... 249. 9249, good. Um, wait, what? There we go. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Alright, so we'll go to forward baggage. We'll get some more over here. We'll get 12 here. And then there we go. That's good. Alright, so. And then we'll. Our CG is 26.6. So we'll plug that in. Um, in just a second. Alright, so ZFW is. Uh, 59.5 so 59.5 and then we'll do backslash and we will do um, 26.6 for the CG we'll plug that in and we're looking for 8 point uh, let me I can't remember 8.6 on the block fuel good we'll plug that in there Good, and then we'll go to our perf page. Um, we will plug in some numbers here. We are going to be taking off a shorter runway, so we'll do a flaps 2 departure. Um, there's our V speeds. There we go. IRS is aligned now, so that's great. Um, good. So we'll, we'll keep that. Actually, we'll actually. Um, scroll through our flight plan as well um, let's go to flight plan here good and we will scroll through it whoa was that something that I should mm, hold on let me oh no that's just part of the flight plan okay good Hold on a minute, guys. Alright, so we'll get this back down here. Get back, that back to ARC. Get this back to the perf page. Good. Oops, why is it doing that again? Wait, what? Hold on a minute. Okay, so we're going to be actually taking a more straightforward route. Um, it's... I should have checked the flight plan. Um, you know, we can actually insert stuff. It, it doesn't hurt at all. I don't think so. So we'll go to flight plan here. Um, let's go back to our flight plan in here. So, um, all right, so this is our departure, which is all good, Ed Helm, and then from here, we're going to be taking an airway, and we'll, we'll do, actually, you know what I'll do, I'll delete all the other stuff, so we'll go to clear, and then we'll clear, this or well actually whatever um hold on um let's just insert the flight plan here so we're going to be taking an airway which is um um 409 good wait what won't let us put that in there 
stupid. Um, whatever. I think I think we'll be fine. I, I think it'll be a bit shorter of a flight, but um, we're we're going to the same destination anyway, so no worries. I should have checked it. Whatever. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and go to our MCP and get our cruise altitude plugged in. The only thing that I'm mainly concerned about. Let me let me actually show you guys. Um, let's get this back to plan here. Um, and scroll through, and then make sure our arrival is plugged in. When you find your seat, please be sure to place your larger carry-on items in the overhead bins and smaller Shoot. items underneath the seat in front of you. Unless you're in a front row, please place all of your items in the overhead bin. If you have any trouble finding a location for your carry-on items, okay, hold on. please let a flight attendant know and we will be happy to assist you. If the overhead bin is full, please make sure you close it as a courtesy to other passengers. Please double check that all your items are put away so that the aisle is clear and other passengers can make their way to their seats. If you're in an emergency exit All right, row, that's perfect. That's perfect. Our arrival's plugged in, so th that's that's completely fine. Good. If you're not able to comply with these actions, Good. Well, we're, we're just going to be going more direct, you, you know. You are free to use your portable electronic devices during the boarding process. We ask that larger electronic devices once we Go back to the perf page there. The Good. The Thank you, and welcome aboard. We'll go ahead and get our nav lights on. Um, get these signs on. Um... Good, we'll get our strobes to auto. Um, we'll go ahead and get our um, flight directors left side and right side on. Good. Um, all that's looking good there, and we're ready to go. We're ready to go. We just gotta wait for Pack X. Um, let's see how much they got left. It's definitely halfway. Um, yeah, how much longer do we have on our boarding? Yep, 10 contract? minutes. <laughs> we are still boarding. Let us know if you need anything. She seems tired. <laughs> 10 So we have 10 minutes to wait. Um We have 10 minutes to wait. You're back, Captain Matt. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome, welcome back. Sorry about um missing your comment. I was just busy. But welcome back. I didn't think you'd be back, but welcome back. Welcome back, buddy. Glad you're back. Um, okay. Good. Um, we can uh, get our APU bleed on, get our um, external power, and get our power truck disconnected. Good. We'll go ahead and get these up. There we go. All that's looking good. Huh. <laughs> Look at the baggage. He's like through the truck. What? <laughs> okay. Why am I still hearing thun- I guess the thunderstorm's coming our way. Hey, it is what it is. Look, if we do this... So what is the destination of this leg? We are uh, on our way to Brasilia. We are on our way to Brasilia. Um... Yeah, so, should be a nice one. Should definitely be a nice one. I'm looking forward. Um, it's gonna be about an hour and a half. If not, it's it's gonna be shorter, because we're going more direct to a... to a, um... a destination, but, um... See how, look, we're basically just going from there all the way to a whole nother, so weird, hold on, let me show you, um, 
Yeah, we just have two waypoints in between. Yeah, that's just not fun. But, you know, you know, I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. So, we'll just keep that there. It's it's completely fine. I think I think we'll be fine. I think we will be good. But but we will um get to the same destination. Maybe not the same amount of time, but we are good. All right, so we got about seven more minutes left on Pack X. Got to wait for Pack X to finish up before we can get on the road. You want to do some riddles, um, Captain Matt? Since <laughs> since the man, the myth, and the legend isn't here. Man, look at this. Wow. Look at this handmade airport, too. It looks absolutely beautiful. Look at it. But when you go through, you can't actually see, and that's kind of disappointing, but hey. It is what it is. More armor auto throttle as well. Um, what else can we do while we're waiting? There's a nice reading light right there. Okay, good. Just gotta wait for um packax to be finished, which is in about five minutes. Um. Not going to be that much of a wait. Let's actually check out this little... Did I even set a custom view for that? No, I didn't. Shoot. What am I doing wrong? Oh, yeah, we can get our weather radar on, too. Good. Alrighty. Cool. Just have to wait for Pack X. This is like the bo most boring part, but hey, it is what it is. We're gonna wait and be in the air in about a uh, half an hour, or maybe even less time, probably less. Man, I should have updated the A32NX. I just got news. You can check the Discord, actually. Um, you can put exclamation point Discord and check. Let's see if exclamation point Discord actually works this time. Huh. Let me put it in here. Exclamation point Discord. Please work. <laughs> um, but I'll, I'll put in the link manually if... Or I might just put it in the description below, um, which I can actually change right now. But, yeah. Um... Nightbot isn't here right now, I don't think, but he'll be here soon. Um, but in the, my Discord, I get, like, news of, like, flight sim and stuff. So, um, it, so, like, I just got news from there that Fly-By-Wire just released their stable version 0 0.6.0. Uh, so that, that's, I'm going to go, I'm going to probably check that out next stream. Or, well, not next stream, because we're going to be back in X-Plane, but, um, yeah. Stupid Nightbot won't work. Hold on, let me get my, um, 
Discord and put it in the chat. Just by link, I'm gonna say. So we'll go to here, oopsie. Click invite. And then we'll do... We'll copy the link. And then I'm gonna go into YouTube on my phone. And do this manually. Alright, it should pop up now. If not, I have no clue why. <laughs> yeah, it's not popping up. That's weird. Let me let me put it in the description below. Hold on a minute. Um da -da 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 -da. let me go to um go to discord or not go to discord go to my we'll edit that go to and I'll put discord and then I'll put the link there we go that should work cool and we'll save that, and you guys should see it. Um, so just check the description below for my Discord. And just in time, we're ready, to go when you are. we're ready to go. Good. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go to our overhead panel, get our uh, fuel pumps on, get our beacon light on. Good. Oh, that's good. We'll disconnect our jetway, and we will get our uh, pushback or tug. Good. There goes our jetway. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard flight 5345. Our flight time will be roughly one hour and 35 minutes. Now that the cabin door is closed, please make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your large devices are now shut we'll down. We'll go ahead and lock through. our cockpit door please as well. Seat belt and make sure that all tray tables and seat backs are in a full upright and locked position for departure. Flight attendants, please prepare cabin for departure and cross checks. You're eating your second lunch. <laughs> no problem. You can you can you can eat it, man. You can you can eat lunch. I just had my lunch, which is um great. Um a little bit later of a lunch, but no problem with that. Okay, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is go to our uh thing here, get our uh engine mode selected to IGN slash start, ignition slash start, and we'll go ahead and start a pushback. Good. Oh, we gotta set a uh, release our parking brake. There we go. Let's get our tug speed down a little bit. I will go ahead and get engine number two on. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the screen to an important safety demonstration. Thank you for flying with us. Estimados pasajeros, es un placer tenerlos a bordo de la TAM. Por su seguridad y confort, solicitamos poner atención a las instrucciones de seguridad de este avión. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to have you on board la TAM. For your safety and comfort, please pay attention to the safety instructions for this aircraft. Por favor, acompáñenos. Please join us. Guarde el equipaje de mano en el compartimiento superior o bajo el asiento de adelante. Stow your carry-on baggage in the overhead compartment or underneath the seat in front of you. Pasillos, salidas de emergencia y primera fila deben estar libres de equipaje. Aisles, emergency exits, and the first row must be kept clear of luggage. Ajuste right. su cinturón de seguridad cada vez que la señal se ilumine. Fasten your seatbelt. All right, let's Whenever stop the pushback. Good. Uh, well, I had my blood sugar going down, but food can get it stabilized. Nice. Nice, I'm glad, I'm glad you're getting your, uh, getting that fixed up. Get some more proteins. Uh, 
then lift the top part of the buckle. Le recomendamos mantener All right, good. Let's get engine number one. We'll go ahead and set our parking brake and get rid of our tub. Good. Los pasajeros deben cumplir con las instrucciones de la tripulación, letreros y señales luminosas. Passengers must follow all instructions given by crew members, signs and lights. Está prohibido fumar a bordo, inclusive cigarrillos electrónicos. Manipular los detectores de humo en los baños está prohibido por ley. Smoking on board is forbidden. This also includes electronic cigarettes. Tampering with smoke detectors in lavatories is prohibited by law. Dispositivos electrónicos, incluyendo teléfonos celulares... Was Foxy on earlier? No, unfortunately not. I don't know what's going on. But he, he might just be busy, and I'll respect that. All right, there's engine number one. Is that seriously a fly, seriously a flyby wire, A330? What? I guess that's not working. Whatever. Okay, good. So engine number one is not stable yet with engine number two, but. Um, right now it's stable. Good. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is get this back to normal. Good. Uh, we'll go ahead and get our AP bleed off, and we'll get our spoilers armed. We'll get our flaps set to two. Flaps two, good. There's flaps two. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get our auto brake to max. Uh, what else? Let's get our APU master switch off. Good, and we'll get all of our lights on, and then we'll be ready to go. So, taxi light coming on. Um, and that's all we need to turn on, pretty much. Because when we turn off, so we don't need to turn on. Good. We'll get our park brake off. Good. Alright. Let's get going here. Alright, let me get my chart out here. So we're gonna make a... Make our way out to... Um, Kilo. We're gonna go all the way down to Delta. Oh, there's a storm coming. Look at that nifty storm. Whoa. Alright, let's do our takeoff config test. Good, everything's normal. Good. What are you doing? Are you my escort or something? That would be kind of nice, though. Alright, I guess he's not. Okay, so we're going to go out to here. What is this coming up here? This is Kilo. So we're going to take... Uh, Limo f this is Lima 4 up here. Um, then we'll make a left onto this is no we're on bravo this is going to be bravo not delta excuse me how was your sleep last night i slept great last night i had like 12 decent hours of sleep it was great can also get rid of pushback up or we don't need that anymore Oh yeah, and the mic problem I had yesterday, um, oh, sorry about that, um, basically I have to have it plugged into my controller, um, for the mic to be more sensitive, and that's what I want, because if it's not plugged into there, I have to have it, like, very close to my mouth for it to pick up my voice, so, 
I'm glad I was able to fix that and diagnose it, so I'll have it plugged into my controller from now on. Alright, there's our runway to our right. Off to our right. Look, look at the scenery at this airport. It's beautiful. Very well made. Um, it, 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 it comes with the sim, so you don't need to pay for it. I mean, well, you're going to have to pay for it once you get uh, the sim, but when you get the sim, that's you have to pay for that, obviously, but it comes with lots of different sceneries and stuff, which is awesome, so. All right. Let's slow her down here. We are going a little bit fast. Good. Look at this general aviation parking here. Very cool. Also, if you haven't done so already, a Nightbot has been reminding you guys, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. We're trying to get this uh, live stream to uh, five um, likes or more likes than that. That would be awesome. Um, also, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I guess Legend left, lol. Yeah, yeah. he, he, he said he would be here, but he never joined, so that's... Let's hold short here. There we go. We'll get our park break on here. Um, we'll go ahead and call our cabin. Hello. There we go. All right. Um. All right. So next, we're gonna get our. Uh, what do we got here? Um, TCAS to TA slash RA. Good. Um, we'll also get our uh, landing lights on. And we'll get our taxi, our take, nose lights to take off. We'll go ahead and get our wing lights on as well. Um, all that looks good. Awesome. Let's get, let's get on the road, people. Or uh, not on the road, in the air, I should say. All right, let's get our. Let's get on here. Awesome. Lining up on runway three three. All right, we'll go ahead and start our chrono. Good. Oh, that was a perfect lineup right there. Or almost perfect. Alright. Um, let's go throttles 40. And we're going to go uh, Toga. Toga. Mantoga SRS runway nav auto thrust is blue. Oh no, a car! No, I'm gonna destroy it! No! <laughs> Stupid car. Alright. Uh, airspeed is live. 100 knots. And a V1. Rotate. Ooh, look at that. And positive rate gears coming up. Oh yes, beautiful departure right there. I'll follow our flight directors here. We'll hand fly this for a while, I think. All right, let's go flaps one. Good, we'll get our levers to climb. Or levers to climb. There we go, levers are to climb. Gotta get our speed up, so we gotta calm down on the ascent here. Wow, 
Why are no smoking signs? Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, look at that scenery. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. Alright, let's start going through the soup here. Through the soup. Let's calm down a little bit more on the ascent here. Get our nose down a little bit. Let's get back on our flight path here. Once we make this right turn up ahead, um, I'll take control of the airplane. Alright, uh, let's go flaps clean. 220. Good. <laughs> I just looked up Blonde Boy and he has 23 subs and no vids. I watched the stream that I, f uh, that I first joined you and I saw how he was spamming. By the way, uh, did he do that uh, on your previous streams prior? No, he did not. He never did that. I never knew him. You had joined the same time I did. You did. You you had joined the same time he did. So he was new to my eyes. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get our uh, nose lights off and our wing lights off. Good, we'll get disarm our spoilers. What a beautiful departure that was. They still have control of the airplane, guys. Alright, let's start making this turn here. You know what? I forgot to check the um, trans altitude. Hold on, let me check that real quick. Trans altitude is 7,000 both ways, so we can go ahead and go standard barrow. Yes, it's it's bl the standard barrow is blinking at me. I forgot to change it from 10,000 to 7,000. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now passed 10,000 feet. You may now turn on your larger portable electronic devices. All right, let's get autopilot on here. There we go. We'll get our seatbelt signs off and our landing lights off. We do offer complimentary in-flight TV thanks to our partners. Connect to the Wi-Fi to find out more information. Yes, we have. Hey, that's weird. Hold on. That's super weird. Whatever. Going through the soup. Let's do a wing view for this breakout. After the breakout, ooh, here comes the breakout. I see it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that.
so beautiful you can't go wrong with the graphics in this in this simulator it's so good all right let me put my controller down here um good uh good um in terms of flight plan let me just check real quick uh what did they want on the cruise speed cruise speed of seven eight or seven nine actually of mach seven nine i should say look at those clouds you just can't like the clouds in this game are unreal like man there Unreal. Is this a turn we should be making? Yes, it is. Just wanted to make sure. All right, let's get some let's get some tunes on here. There we go. Okay. That's good. Keep an eye on chat here. Just in case. Okay. Alright, um... I'm just gonna remain in the cockpit. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll do that for a little while. There we go. Um, if I could buy anything, I would have bought every flag carrier of the Americas and merged them into Ameri Ameri into Americas Airways. On the planes, it would just say Americas. Nice. What what colors would you have? Red, white, and blue, obviously, right? That's a nice idea. I like that. Also, guys, um, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys. Just a very huge thank you. I'm lo I was looking at my analytics. Actually, let me check them now. I'll just go over them with you guys. You guys are just absolutely the best. Like, let me let me just show you this. Or, I wish I could show you, but, um... You know what? I actually can show you. Hold on. Let me show you guys. Um, studio. And then, I'm gonna go here, and then go to OBS, and then get this display capture on. There we go. Display capture. Oh, it is. Let me, let me, like, make it a little bit smaller. So you guys can see a little bit of the sim, too. Okay, so we got 56 subscribers, guys. I, just, to be honest and straight honest with you, I never thought we would get to 56 subscribers. <laughs> and now you're, 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 you guys are just, uh, like, man, just 56 subscribers, it just makes me think we can get to 100, 200, 300. Our channel's definitely growing. Um, in 
terms of, oh, let me go to analytics and just make it a little bit better for you guys. So, our views are almost at 1K in the last um, 28 days, which is awesome. Our watch time is at 112 right now, which is more than usual, which is good. Our subscribers are going up plus 10 in the last 28 days, which is great. Um, let's see. Um, our impressions went up by 7, ooh, 10.7k impressions, jeez. 70, that went up by 72%. Our impressions click-through rate, uh, went up 19%. Our views went up 73%, and unique viewers are 285. That's so good. Um, wow. Man, um, uh, not comments, I don't want to show that, um, because there might be some, you know, terrible comments there. Um, so we'll go to content, and actually, I want to show you guys this. The lo last long haul we had from, uh, from, uh, um, Mumbai to, uh, to, um, what you call it? Paris, that's where it was. Um, we had 3.1 watch time hours. 3.1. What is the airplane doing? Hold on a minute. Hold on, what is the airplane doing? Is it making the right turn? Yeah, it's making the right turn. Okay, we're almost at cruise, too, so... Let me, uh, change this back here. Good. Alright, let's open this back up. But hey, you're great at saving money on car insurance because you switched to Geico. So don't worry about that Thanksgiving pickup game. Stupid ad. Hold on a minute. You can't even skip it. MVP to us, Geico. Okay. But like, 90, not, 99 views since it was last published. So, like, after I streamed, it's gotten almost 100 views. Like, that's just uncalled for. And then while, like, I have 220-something views on this. It's absolutely insane. I just never thought this would happen. Um, but, yeah, you guys are just the best. Let me um, go ahead and bring this back to here. Um, and then turn off display capture. There we go. You, you guys are absolutely the best. It's just insane what you guys are doing. I want to send a huge thank you to everyone. It's... Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. Um, you guys are really... You guys are awesome. Period. End of sentence. End of discussion. Alright, what do we got on... Or altitude, 32,000 feet, so. Look at those clouds. Wow. Uh, delivery is white uh, with uh, Aztec, that, with Aztec Temple, okay, nice. With a huge Americas, and on the top will be the airline motto. Um, in every language of the Americas, the motto is an America is airline with two Americas and the world. Ooh. You should you should you should like make one for like the flight sim community. You should do that. I think a lot of people would like that. I think a lot of people would definitely like that. Definitely, definitely. I'm looking at the live map and we're like so off target right now. Actually, we're 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 pretty much just vectoring, you know. So it may actually take a bit longer. We'll see. Looking good. Um, now in terms of weather. Oh come on, man! Sim 2 Pro is freezing on me again. Luckily not the sim, but 
Okay, there we go. Um, in terms of weather, let me see. What the weather is like in Brasilia. Alright, so it is mostly cloudy. Um, and we won't be seeing a sunset, which is unfortunate, but, um, yeah. It's looking good. Um, in terms of wind, what's the wind like? Oh, the wind's not even that bad. Great, that's awesome. Um... Alright, we're almost at 36,000, so then we can just do wind views. You don't know how to create liveries? <laughs> Me neither. So, I mean, <laughs> you're talking to the wrong person, but, um, uh, I... If, if you don't want to, that's fine, but I think it would definitely attract a lot of people, like, the, your idea. Alright, we're at 36,000 now. We are cruising. Ooh, that's a perfect view right there with the sun. And we got the clouds. And the wing. Beautiful. I want to, but I just don't know how to begin. Um, maybe you can just look up some tutorials. I'm sure there's a couple of tutorial, uh, many tutorials out there, I should say. Um, like, just look up on YouTube, you know, um, tutorials on how to create liveries for airplanes. I would assume it's a bit harder than you may think it is, but um, but I think that you'll definitely attract a lot of people because um, that's just a great livery idea. I think it's great. Flight service and flight service. The passengers are currently 100% satisfied, which is awesome. Just stupid bug just flying around in my room. It's annoying. Stupid ad. Come on, ad. Oh, and Captain Matt, I like your new um, logo. It's pretty nice. I like it. I'm digging it, man.
probably going to wait until Infinite Flight allows me to create a custom livery, but uh, uh, by then I will have a gaming laptop for MSFS 2020 and others by 2025. Um, then I could create liveries. Man, I like how you're planning ahead. I like it. change up the wing view here. What's him toolkit pro saying uh, for the um, estimated the time of arrival? Oh, geez, 47 minutes. Uh, yeah, my logo is the modern interpretation of the uh, Romanium, Rom Romanum, uh, um, Imperium flag. Nice, nice. Oh, that's nice. I am just taken away. My breath's being taken away from these clouds. It's just, wow. It's, man. Like I'm looking out in the cloud, uh, at the clouds where I am, and it's just I'm looking at it, and then looking at them, and then looking at the ones in the sim. They're just so you, like you really can't go wrong. It's insane. Wow, I just got... <laughs> I use the sound for my replays and, like, en my ending, like, so you guys get to hear it again. It's, it's a beautiful song. It's very motivational. Uh-oh. I love this song. Ixen is just... He's a, he's a great artist. He's great. Um... Have you heard of Aurora D8? No, I have not. Tell me about it. Tell me about it, man. Love to hear about it.
jump off wing view here. Alright, so let me show you guys one thing real quick. Um, so, so at Volkep, um, we're going to start a descent, and they want us at two eight, flight level 286 by Wellen, so we are getting close, guys. We are getting relatively close. Or all flight services, uh, NASA and Boeing are trying to uh, make a double bubble airliner uh, that is fuel efficient and it could enter service with airlines between 2027 and 2035. Wow! Wow! Let me let me look let me look them up. Flight Sciences, right? Yeah, it's a Boeing company. Look at our planes. Whoa. It's not an airliner, but whoa. Let me look up their airliner. Looking at pictures. Whoa, that's cool. That's very cool. I like it. Our is purchased by Boeing in 2017. Nice. Nice. So unfortunately we won't see a sunset, which I'm a little bit disappointed about, but hey, it is what it is. Looks like we'll be landing at about 5.30 their time. Or close to that. I would say maybe maybe like 5.15 their time. And the sun doesn't go until down until 6. So we may, we actually may catch a little bit of it, so that'll be nice. But we won't see the full sunset. And then also, um, let me look up, uh, flight aware. Um, from EGLL Echo Golf Lima Lima to Echo India Delta Whiskey and look up some flights for that. Um, how long are those flights? Uh, it's about an hour and five. That's block time, I should say.
maybe we'll do it too, like, flight that, that night, tomorrow night, um, what's another place you'd like me to go to, um, um, what other places would you like me, like, what other place close to Dublin would you like me to go to, um, we should get closer to Reykjavik, though, like, somewhere north of Dublin, um, that would be nice. Um, have 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 steam ever hurt your thumb? What do you mean by that? Has steam ever hurt my thumb? I don't think so. I don't get your question, but if you go reword, that'd be awesome. Dublin to Don Donegal, okay. Um, let me see. Donegal Airport. Um, what's the uh, Don uh, Donegal Airport iCal code. Let me get the iCal code first. Um, iCal code is do, 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 E I D L. Okay, let's check that out. When I got my second lunch, steam came up and my thumb turned reddish. Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully, it's feeling better. said another or Dublin to Westry. Let's try Westry. Cuz I can't I can't fly into um Donegal with a uh, with a big airliner and it doesn't look like I can into Westry either. E G E W idea. Maybe we can fly from London to Manchester, Manchester to Dublin. Maybe that's a good idea. Ooh, that's a good idea. And then from Dublin, we can go from Dublin to Reykjavik over the weekend.
Or we could just stay in the United Kingdom and just go from London to Burm. Actually, that would be a very short flight. So, um, let's do E G L L to Manchester. E G C C. All right, how long is that flight? Let's see. All right, that one's perfect. Um, and then from Manchester to EIDW. We can fly Ryanair. <laughs> That'll be an excuse to get, oh yes, this is perfect. Yes, let's do it. So I'll, we'll do, well, let me, sh let me show you here. Um, so we'll go from, So we'll go London, uh, which is E G L L, uh, to um, Manchester, which is E G C C, and then we'll go to Dublin, which is uh, E I D W. There. That's what we'll do uh, for tomorrow. Um, that's perfect. I could do Dublin to Vagar, but I, I'd rather go to more major airports so we can, you know, you know, get those bigger, those bigger airplanes in, you know, so, um, okay, let's check where we are here. Okay, we, so we are about to pass, about to pass Volcap, um, but we still got a little bit of ways to go. Gar is a big airport in Nor. Well, the Nor. I mean, I mean, I could go to Norway, you know, but but Norway's a little bit a little bit of ways away from here, from um from Dublin. So is is um is what I just posted in chat. Is that okay? From London to Manchester to Dublin. Is that good? I hope that's fine with you. Okay, good, thank you. Cool, we'll, we'll do that. Um, I don't know what uh, airlines we would fly from. I know we'll, we'll probably fly Ryanair. I guess we could fly Ryanair. Um, but Gar is close to Iceland due to the fact uh, uh, it is the Faroe Islands of Norway um, and is home to Atlantic Airways, a huge jetliner company. You know what we'll do? Um, 
maybe on Sunday we'll do a short hop. Next Sunday we'll do a short hop. On Saturday, yeah, I'll, I'll, let's, let's try and figure it out. Um, so maybe we could do, um, on, on, tomorrow, tomorrow. Come on, Ad. Come on. Okay, um, so we can do on Monday, we can go from, so that's tomorrow, we can do, um, hold on a minute, um, So on Monday we will go to from you know like I like I said and then on next Saturday uh, so the next Saturday we'll go from Dublin to Reykjavik and then possibly on Sunday we'll go from Reykjavik to um, to the other um, where in Faroe Islands the um, Uh, what, where did you say? F uh, Fagar, Fagar, right. Does that sound good to you? Uh, Fagar is... Oh yeah, I already read that comment, sorry. Alright, so where are we in terms of... Alright, so... Let's get ready to... Um, plug in some info here um, for descent and get ready for approach. We'll plug in some numbers here. Um, Q and H in. Do, 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 do. In. Um, uh, What's the other place called? Um, Brasilia, right? Brasilia. Um, trans out or Q and H. We should check first. Q and H is one zero one five. Hey, here's a song that I that I used for my intro music before. Nice. All right, temp. One minute, guys. Um. Oh, you all right with that, Captain Matt? Cool, cool. Thank you. All right. Um. All right. Uh. Um. Temperature is twenty-three Celsius degrees Celsius. Um. Winds are. Uh. What does VRB mean? Hello. Mean wind speed is what VRB means. Oh, so the direction can't be, you know why? Um, um, VRB, so since the speed is so low, so we won't plug that in which is fine, or the speed of the wind. Um, so we'll plug in the trans altitude, which is 7,000. Plug that in, good, and what about minimums? Um, Q and H is height above the sea, yeah, I know, I know. Did I say what is Q and H? My bad. Um, let's check for minimums. We go to Ch 
chart. Um, okay, so we are looking for the iCal code for our uh, Sierra Bravo Bravo Romeo. So I'll plug that in, and then we'll go to um, approach. Um, we are taking the 11th right ILS X. So this ILS X. Okay, so what are minimums here? Do do do. So they're saying MDA is um, 390. Yeah, 390. Let's plug, let's plug that in. Shoot. Uh, 390. I'm not sure if that's correct, though. We'll find out. If not, we can easily plug it in. Because it says 3880. Um, oh, no, 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 no. It is 3880. That's the MBA. Sorry about that. Why am I so dumb? 3880. So I'll plug it in. Uh, 3880. Plug that in. Good. Looks much better. Um. Shoot, why does it do that? Stupid. Okay, um... So it says the runway's heading 108, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, cool. Um... Oh, so yeah, I, w I was looking at your chart and loudly said what the Q and H. Oh. Oh, um, but you were looking for it then, uh, then not knowing what it meaning. <laughs> uh, I, I can only use my voice, or ears. Yeah, well, yeah, sorry about the misunderstanding. Um, I was looking for what it actually was, not like, you know, what the definition was. No worries, though. No worries for the miscommunication. Oh, Captain Matt, I for uh, I forgot to ask you, how's David doing? Is he doing well? You're packing your bags. Stupid ad. Yeah, you're right. Come on now. Right, there we go. Yeah, how's David? Is he doing good? I hope he's doing well. You know, David and da David's David David's have a special connection. We want to know how each other is doing. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke, but <laughs> How is he doing? I hope he's doing well. Alright, so we are about to pass Volkov, so um, we are going to plug in our... Um, so they want 286 for... Um, Guys, um, okay. Um, so they're asking for two eight six um, for Wellen. So we'll, we'll we'll plug that in. We won't. Um, shoot. We won't execute it quite yet. Good. 
David is doing well. He's he's on my knee, and literally when you asked about him, David asked, "How about you?" <laughs> oh, I'm doing well, David. Thank you for asking. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Are you into planes like your dad? Like me, too. Planes are absolutely great. If you want to get into them, I highly recommend. Oh, look at that. Look, look. It's clear. Look at this. Look at that scenery down below. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, so we're going to be starting our descent in about 26 miles. Okay. Oh, the ads. I hate them. He just got on my knee and I started playing with toy planes, so he definitely has a love of aviation like you and I, yeah. Yeah, that's very, that's very cool. Very cool. Um, we should, um, yeah. I love how he's getting into planes already. And once aviation, um, you know, once going, whoa, do you see that lightning streak? Jeez. Um, once, you know, flying is a little bit more safe, um, you know, we'll definitely be able to fly again. You know, fly, um, for vacation and maybe just for fun, you know. All right, 15 miles until we start our descent. Look at that sun. So beautiful. And the clouds below it. And, the ter and then the, um, not terrain, the scenery uh, even below that. Oh, man. Can't get better than this. Alright, 10 miles until we start our descent, guys. David unfortunately had a nightmare last night. All oh. let's see. Like every time I have a nightmare, like right after I have a nightmare, I haven't actually had one in a while. But um, after you know, um, I have one. You know, I'm just like, oh no, this is real. And then I open my eyes. I'm like, oh, it's not real. You know, it, it's just relieving after. But. Um, yeah, it's just... Alright, let's uh, start a descent, guys. There we go, let's start a descent here. What was the nightmare about, David? I'm sure you don't want to talk about it, but... You know, sometimes, at least for me, when I talk about it, it makes, it, I mean, it makes me feel a little bit better. Alright, there's our descent starting. Let's go manual V speed here. And then after this song, we'll uh, pause our music.
Why is our speed going up? We don't want that. Alright, subside. Let's go 1,000 feet per minute. David can't hear you because he is around the house flying. <laughs> uh, but his nightmare was about me dying. <gasps> I just woke him up and he calmed down and we both fell, fell asleep. Oh. Wow. That must have been scary. Actually, calm down and descent, descent even more because we are um, pretty far away from Wellen. Not naturally lying, dying, but dying due to war. Oh, uh, I told him that it's it's fake, and I s just smoothed him, soothed him. Probably you wanted to say right. Yeah, that's that's good. Or well, the dream wasn't good, but you soothing him was great. Um, but dying of war, ooh, that's not something you want to ever experience again. Oh shoot, I forgot to stop the music. Whatever, we'll, we'll wait until this song is over. Just got a couple more wing views in before we um, get into land. know more about I uh, want to know more about David sure if you're comfortable and David's comfortable that would be, that'll be awesome I would definitely love to hear more about David Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, 
Oh, uh, Priscilla is right now getting scattered thunderstorms, so we gotta be on the lookout for that. Hold on a minute, let me just see if the weather is updated here. Live weather, yeah, we're on live weather. Good. They're getting scattered thunderstorms in Priscilla right now, so gotta be on the lookout for that. <laughs> Um, stop the music here, or once the song is over. Alright, let's stop that. Good, um, and we'll go back to here. Awesome. There we go, um, okay, um, let's go back to, um, here, make sure we're descending nicely. Alright, good, that's, good. Alright, um, oh, okay, uh, David is nicknamed Davy. He was adopted by me, he looked like me, and he is super cute, adorable, and funny. Oh, I bet, I bet. You're doing a great deed, Matt. Just adopting someone who needs a home. You know, it's 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 great that you're doing this, man. descending nicely um let's do that there we go we're at 286 now or close to 286 we're at 289 right now and then at Welland once we pass Welland we'll descend to let's see what is it here um 159 flight level 159 I already entered destination data what all right final approach speed is 133 good We'll have to bear that in mind. Alright, we'll cruise here at 286, flight level 286, until we pass Wellen, which is in 22 miles. Biological parents harshly raised him and dumped him. Ooh, aw. Um, I found him near the adoption center, and I just took him in. Ooh, that wow, wow. Um, and adopted him, and uh, the court made it official ever since I was called dad. Oh, that's a that's a that's a that's a good story. The th next half of it was good, but the first half, man. I don't want to hear more about that. When 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 did you adopt him? Like a couple months ago, or even re more recent, or? All right, thirteen miles until uh, we start descending a little bit more. 
Look at that scenery down below. So beautiful. Just looking around. Alright, we got seven miles until um, we continue our descent, or more like six now. Um, uh, his biological parents got prison time, both seven years and no contact. Well, they deserve it. If they're harshly raising, even abusively raising a child like that, not acceptable, man. Not acceptable. Alright, um, let's get our altitude now down to 159, flight level 159. Uh, let's try and get this down to 159. Alright, there we go, and we'll execute. And we will continue our descent down. Let's do 1,000 feet per minute. Oh my goodness, look at that scenery down there. How beautiful. Shoot. Man, you can't go wrong with the scenery and the rendering in this sim. You just can't. So beautiful. Man, why are they saying there's scattered thunderstorms and it looks absolutely clear here? Like, the airport is, like, over there somewhere, but, like, <laughs> there's, like, not a cloud to see in the sky. Interesting. I guess the weather's not working well in uh, Microsoft Flight Sim right now. Flyick, welcome to the stream. He says, Ooh, oh, MFS, you. <laughs> XDs, ha. Well, welcome to the stream, first and foremost. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And number two, I like Microsoft Flight Sim. <laughs> Flyick, I think the only reason you don't like it is literally because it, cr it like, messes up your streams. For some reason, it doesn't do that to me. And the views that I'm getting here... Just beautiful. Oh, and Flyic. I know you've always wanted to know my specs. So here's the specs for you for my PC. Um, now we are enemies. Oh, well. Don't dislike. Don't you dare, Flyic. Don't you dare. I know you like this. No, I know you're joking around. I know you were joking around, just playing along with the joke, buddy. Welcome to the stream, man. Also, make sure to, um, speaking of likes, make sure to s smash that likes, uh, like button or smash that thumbs up button. Uh, if you haven't done so already, we're trying to get this like to uh, this like this stream to five likes. That would be awesome. A SoCal CCPS worker who visited me told me that 
uh, uh, told me that compared me to his, the biological parents, and I am actually better than them. Well, no surprise, man. No surprise, Matt. You're a great man. Those biological parents, man. Um, Cartoon Fly Arcadey Game 2020. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, Good, everything's looking good there. Um, we're descending nicely. But now, do you, do you really like flying in the sim? Um, yes and no. Yes, because the graphics are unreal. Like, so they're just so surreal. Like you, like, you can't go wrong with the graphics in this. The clouds are great. The scenery is great. You don't need freaking ortho to make the scenery look good. But also it makes my computer lag just a little bit. Um, but definitely worth the views. Like look at those wing views. You can't go wrong, man. All right, let's uh, calm uh, down on the descent here. Do 700 feet per minute there. What I think about the graphics is that they're so good and clean that it's that is unrealistic. Really, you think so? Um, also the FPS is horrible. I mean, it does, it does hit you on FPS, but, um, I think it's worth the graphics. Physics are awful. Ah, in this, in this plane, it's a little bit hard to get this thing on the ground. Huh. You can barely get butters on this plane. Like, I got it, uh, um, it, Sim Toolkit Pro gave me a, um, a 140, but, like, that's not correct, and then I got a 229 from PAC-X, so, like, I think the 229 was a little bit more realistic. Planes suck, and good planes, like, the FS Labs will be unplayable because the frames will hit so hard with the study with a study level plane, yeah. You can't get the physics exactly right, you know? Or else you're... If, if you get the physics exactly right, then your frames are just gonna... You're just gonna get a hit... Get a hit from the FPS. Alright, we just passed, uh... BR-00033, so they want us at... Um... Wait, what? Wait, whoa. They want us at 10,000. They, okay, they want us at 6. Hold on. I gotta pay attention. They want us here now. Now we gotta descend real fast. I gotta pay attention. Alright, let's get some speed brakes out. I think we'll get all of them out. Just shoot. Will you come out or what? Hold on. Are you gonna come? Mm, the stupid speed brakes aren't gonna come out. You're serious, right? Uh, there we go. Now they'll come out.
missed approach, yeah, probably. <laughs> See, the airport's like right there somewhere. Jeez, man. We're descending like crazy. Okay, we're gonna activate approach phase now. Start getting our speed down. Cause we're already on final. <laughs> we're so high. Is that the runway right up there? Let's hope not. <laughs> oh wait, no, the... Runway is somewhere over here. Oh, there's the run- Yep, this is definitely gonna be a missed approach. Look at how high we are. Yep, we're gonna go around, guys. <laughs> I hate when I mess up the waypoints. Yeah, I'm way too high. Yeah, we're way too high, but we'll, we'll continue our descent, and we'll just, you know, we'll go heading mode, I guess. Once we get on track, though. Oh, look, at a, look at a, look at a, look, look at our runway. No, we're taking 11 right anyway. We're taking this runway, but still, it makes things... Um... Okay, um... Let's go ahead and get our... Our expected arrival is 30, 30 minutes, so we still have plenty of time. We can do a go-around. Let's get our landing lights on. Please complete all Wi-Fi related tasks and stow any larger electronics. I have max speed breaks out and my speed isn't going down. It's because of my the the of how fast I'm going down. My feet uh, ver, uh V speed, my vertical speed. Look, look at that runway. It's <laughs> Yep. Fly, thanks for distracting me. No, that was just a joke. That was just a joke. It's definitely my fault. Just wasn't paying attention. Jesus. Look at that scenery, though. It's beautiful. Bro, this is so weird, though. This is so weird because I'm looking at the weather at the airport and it says it's scattered thunderstorms. And literally right now, we're getting clear weather. Like, I'm on live weather too. Yes, fly. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. Um, you just have to look up, um, s um, you know, custom w wing views. Hold on, let me go heading mode. Alright, let's get our altitude down to 2,000. Alright. Alright, we'll make our turn when we're 5 miles past the runway. Make our turn facing that way. Oh no, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
I forgot that we were so elevated. Let's keep that there. Okay. Um, but do you need to change the camera first in the in that file thing so the camera is out of the cockpit and then configure a view? Yes, yes, yes. You're gonna need to do that, but it's not it's not even that hard. So, all right, let's make that turn now. All right, let's go flaps one. Oh shoot. Let's go. We'll arm our spoilers now since we're not like. All right, let's go flaps two. All right, there we go. Oh, what's this? Looks like smoke. All right, we should go, uh, we're through 7,000, so we gotta go selected, barrow. There we go. Get our altitude down just a little bit. Wait, why are you doing that? Like what? Oh no. Frames. Okay. <laughs> Had a little mini crash there. Alright, let's go flaps three. And we won't go flaps full until we're on final again. Alright, um, we'll make our turn in just a second here. Once we're ten miles out. Alright, let's start making our turn now. We'll go fly heading. Oh crap, the sun. Cover your eyes, guys. Um Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh it's not hard, but uh, it's stupid the uh, that they don't have a good camera system. Yeah, I know it's weird. Um, also, the replays. Yeah, the replays are a little bit dumb. <laughs> they need to add a replay system and the camera system as well. All right, let's go ahead and get our landing gear down. What are you doing, airplane? I said fly heading 290. You're fly heading. Hold on. Let me take control just for a second. Get this bad boy back on track. There we go. That's better. Oh man, this airplane. It's one of the better airplanes in the sim, but. <laughs> it's kind of bad. Okay, why are you doing that? What? Come on, man. You're, like, not following what I... You know what? Let me just take control for a while. Let me just take control for a while. I can't trust autopilot at the moment. Now let's get back on autopilot. Let's 
See, you're doing it again, airplane. Come on. I hate this, man. Man, this airplane. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and get all of our lights. Uh, take, uh, oops, not landing lights. Get those on. Get runway turn, and runway turn offs can stay off. Wing lights coming on as well. Okay, will you follow this now? Let's ascend. We gotta ascend a little bit too, because there is some terrain there. There's our airport over there. Alright, uh, yeah, no, not flaps full yet. Man, okay, finally the airplane's following the heading. Jesus. Okay, um, all of our lights are on. Set our, uh, Auto brakes still low. Look at that. Beautiful views, though. That's what you get out of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Start making this turn, flying heading 260. Actually, we'll do, oops, oof, 250. There we go. Get a load of that view. All the houses down there. We're already at 1,000. What? Me makes sense. Okay. All right. Let's continue making this turn here. We'll go fly heading. Why fly two two zero? Yes, I heard you the first time, airplane. It's the terrain below, probably, right? Alright. Making that turn nicely. Good, let me get, um... Flight recorder up. Um, just get it ready. Alrighty. <laughs> Man. Really entertaining. Yeah, I know. It is very entertaining, isn't it? <laughs> okay. S start. Continue making that turn. Alright, we're going to be making our final turn in just a second, guys. We'll go ahead and go flaps full. See, I think that's what you guys are talking about in terms of physics. Alright, let's um, make this turn here.
But look at those views, though. Alright, there's our runway. I see it. We're not the left one. We're on. We're t uh, landing one, one, one right, eleven right. Okay, let's start our uh, recording, guys. Alright, recording, start. And we will go heading 108, which is heading. Good, there we go. And we'll notify our cabin. Yes. Okay, there's our runway We're right on it. Might actually gotta go a little bit more. Alright, that's a bit better. Okay. Alright, so uh, since we are at a, about a thousand feet, I'm gonna take control of the airplane, guys. Let's do this. Get our nose down a little bit so we continue our descent here. Landing rates in chat, guys, they might be pretty high. Like, negative, like, 500. <laughs> I was lucky that I got a minus, uh, like, one, like, 229 last time. <laughs> I was lucky. Alright, uh, cabin screws been advised, uh, landing lights are on, uh, signs are on, cabin is ready, I already said that, spoilers are on, flaps are full, gear is down, let's do this guys, flight predicts 243.35, we'll see, we'll see. Auto brakes are also set, so that's good. Continue. Minimum. Landing. Shoot. We're going in the grass or whatever that's called. Alright, reversers. Jeez, man. That was terrible. I'm always worried. That's the physics of this airplane. Alright. 70 knots, let's stow them. Guys, after that final go around, welcome to Brasilia. Oh, I think your wing has killed, has been killed by that tree. Well, all right, over to manual braking. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our destination. The local time yes, we is have. 5:40. Yes, it's so broken. And it's currently about 23 degrees Celsius. You can now use your mobile device. All right, um, let me get my charts out here. Um, we're going to be vacating. Uh, this is. Uh, echo, echo. If this is your final destination, we thank you for flying with us. If you're making a connection, we encourage you to check your itinerary to ensure a smooth continuation of your journey. Alright, there we go. Alright, landing lights are coming off. And, uh, taxi lights are coming on. Wing lights are coming off. Welcome, everybody, to Brasilia. Um... 
Geez, we're going a bit fast here on the taxiway. Alright, let's make a left turn here onto, this is Kilo, right here. Alright, we'll also get our flaps, or well, let's get our spoilers uh, disarmed. And we'll go ahead and get our flaps up. Alright man, uh, I'm gonna go to bed. Great stream. Thank you very much and thank you for joining as well. Um, appreciate you. Thanks for joining. Alright, let's uh, get our um, ATC menu open here. Um, there, uh, Priscilla ground is 121.8. Or either one of these works. I'll do 121. Oh, well, no. Actually, we gotta do... Oops. We gotta go to... One, two. I guess we gotta do this now. WestJet? What? Okay, we're, we're not doing that. We're just gonna park at one of these. Park right there, I guess. Where that pushback guy is. Alright, guys. Welcome to Brasilia, everybody. After that go around and that landing, terrible landing. It's going to look terrible on the replays. <laughs> I should have made the left turn there. Whatever. Let's make the left turn here. Oh, wait. Let me park here. Let's park here where the stairs are, not the gate. park right in here. All right. Just make sure we're right on that line. sure we keep on that line here there we go and whoa let's move up a little bit more good and stop awesome right there okay uh, let's get our taxi lights off um, our um, Beacon light off. All oh, that's good there. Um, I forgot to get our APU start. But, I mean, we're just going right to replays and ending the stream right there. Alright, um, okay, let's stop our replay. Do, 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 do. Okay, um, let's replay it. Alright, um,. Let's pause the replay and bring it all the way to here. Alright, we'll resume it here. Let's do the wing view on the left side and see how our wing survived that tree. Scenery down below, still good. Oh, we just barely missed a tree. Ha <laughs> ha. Wing dip. Ten, five. 
<laughs> yep, we got a little bit into the little. Okay, well, um, uh, let's see what, um, oh no, I don't want to cancel the flight, hold on. Okay, let's see what Sim Toolkit Pro gave us. Oh, they gave us, oh no, did the flight, please don't, okay, good, okay. So they gave us a 323. <laughs> Not surprised. Okay, we'll pause it and replay it again. I'm not gonna do any any view from the left right side, just because, like on the right side, because you'll see the center line. I don't want you guys seeing the center line, because nobody wants to see the center line, do they? When they're landing. Okay, there we go. That was nice. Um, I mean the landing, not so much, but the views. Look, there's the sun setting. Setting. Oh my goodness gracious. Wing dip. Sheesh. Alright, um... <laughs> Alright, well that's going to go ahead and wrap up this live stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I think I did. Shoot, let me get the... There we go. Um, let me go ahead and toggle my music here. Um, here we go. And perfect. Awesome. Um, well, that's going to go ahead and uh, wrap up this live stream. Thank you all for watching. Um, you guys are the absolute best. Without you guys, I won't be able to do this. Um, and, um, yeah, just, just, I will, oh. I will also, I will be able, I will, I will be able. Um, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for a two-leg flight. Um, the flights are going to be very short. Um, but, um... I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to be flying an X-Plane again. Um, we're going to be flying from uh, London to uh, Manchester and then into Dublin after that. So make sure to catch that stream tomorrow night. I, I think I'm going to do it around 6.30, 7 o'clock my time. So uh, make sure to stay tuned for that. Um, and uh, hold on, let me get this music down just a little bit. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy um, the rest of your... Uh, evening, morning, wherever you may be, and I will catch you guys, uh, tomorrow for, let me, um, do this, for a, uh, another live stream tomorrow night. Um, alright guys, um, enjoy the, uh, this, uh, replay and a couple more, and I will see you guys tomorrow for some more explain content, another explain live stream. Should be a fun one. Alright guys, I will catch you guys all tomorrow. Alright guys, peace.
Thank you.